Hey guys, what is up? It's Twins22, and today I got an awesome story for you guys. Um, first of all, do you believe in reincarnation? Uh, if you don't, this might change your mind, guys. Um, there's an article on the news about this three-year-old claims to remember who killed him in the past, and he leads police to the body. Okay, well, I'm going to read this article to you, and then you decide for yourself, guys. Um, to me, I'm a believer... Uh, as soon as I read this story, uh, it changed uh, what I, you know, believed in reincarnation. So, let's get started. Okay, he, the article says, in his book, Children Who Have Lived Before Reincarnation Today, German therapist Trude Hartle shares extraordinary case studies of children from around the world who remember details of their past lives. One child in the Golan Heights, a region near the border of Syria and Israel, has a tale that will give you goosebumps. A three-year-old of the Druze ethnic group, a group of people who reincarnation is a core belief, told his elders that he knew what had happened to him in his past life. He was murdered. The boy whose story was documented by Dr. Eli Lash and then told to Hardo was born with a long red birthmark on his head. For the bir Druze birthmark like these are an indication of death wounds, says Haro, and children born with them are paid close attention for anything they may remember in their past lives. As soon as a child is born, its body is searched for birthmarks, since they are convinced that these are steam from death wounds which were received in the past life. Hard right. So that means guys that this um this ethnic group, the Druze, that's what it's called, Druze D R U Z E, they believe in reincarnation. So every child that is born with a birthmark, they pay close attention to it because it might be an indication of, you know, a past life they've had. So it, it goes on to say if such marks are found on a child, they try to discover something from his or her past life as soon as the child is able to speak in order to get the first clues to the death, to the circumstances of his or her former death. Okay, guys, so this is where the uh, story gets interesting. Once this particular, particular child turned three and could speak, he told his elders that he was killed by an axe blow to the head. He was led through villages to see if he could remember where he lived until he came to one that seemed familiar to him. The child said he remembered both the first and last name of his killer with complete clarity. Hardo writes that the boy confronted a man he'd never met but known his full name claiming him to be the murderer. Suddenly the boy walked up to the man and said, Aren't you Eli Lash? The man answered, Yes. The boy said, I used to be your neighbor. We had a fight and you killed me with an axe. Ellie told me how the man had suddenly gone white as a sheet. The three-year-old boy then said, I even know where he buried my body. Lo and behold, the boy led the elders to the exact spot, a pile of stones under which there lay a buried body. The buried man's skull showed a split in the front which he did have a birthmark in the head. The boy also led the group to the spot where the axe was buried, forcing the accuser killer to, uh, I mean, sorry, I'm sorry, forcing the accused killer to eventually confess his crime. So there you go, guys. What do you think of that? Reincarnation, is it true or is it not true? But guys, pay real close attention to this story. This child is three years old. He didn't. He didn't even know the man, which had, which he confronted, claiming him to be the killer. He even showed the police to the body and everything, the axe, everything, guys. But you know, make sure to leave your comments down below, uh, and see what. Let me know what you think of this particular story, guys. But to me. I actually do believe in reincarnation <laughs> and my brother actually said he uh, does believe in reincarnation but what would suck about reincarnating back <laughs> is school you would have to go to school all over again <laughs> which it seems funny guys but alright guys uh, 
that's that's everything i have for you guys but make sure to leave your comments down below and let me know your thoughts of what you think about this article but thank you for your time guys and make sure to subscribe to our channel like our videos and enjoy them and also guys make sure to check out our recent videos this have been your host from twins 22 and i will and i'm out i'll see you next time guys peace also guys make sure to like our facebook and follow us on twitter i know we don't really post anything but as soon as we see more likes and more follows we promise you we will start posting every time we post a video or every time daily. something comes to our mind daily oh and uh, my brother says he'll post daily so make sure to like our facebook and follow us on twitter guys links in the description below and also links for the recent videos are in the description below Thank you for your time, guys, and we will see you guys next time.